for financing the, inf uh, the infrastructure needs, the stepping up of public investment will need to be complemented by private capital at a significant scale. Measures will be taken to enhance financial viability of projects, including PPP, with technical and knowledge assistance from multilateral agencies. Enhancing financial viability shall also be obtained by adopting global best practices, innovative ways of financing, and balanced risk allocation. Digital rupee. Introduction of a central bank digital currency will give a boost, a big boost to digital economy. Digital currency will also lead to a more efficient and cheaper currency management system. It is therefore proposed to introduce digital rupee using blockchain and other technologies to be issued by the Reserve Bank of India starting 2022 and 23. Financial assistance to states for capital investment. Reflecting the true spirit of cooperative federalism, the central government is committed to bolstering the hands of the states in enhancing their capital investment towards creative, creating productive assets and generating remunerative employment. The scheme for financial assistance to states for capital investment has been extremely well received by the states. In deference to the requests received during my meeting with the chief ministers and state finance ministers, the outlay for this scheme is being enhanced from 10,000 crores in the budget estimates to 15,000 crores in the revised estimates for the current year. For 22-23, I'll repeat that sentence for the benefit of many of our honourable members. In deference to the requests received, from, received during my meeting with Chief Ministers and State Finance Ministers, the outlay for this scheme is being enhanced from 10,000 crores in the BE to 15,000 crores, 15,000 crores in the RE of the current year. For 22-23, the allocation is 1 lakh crore to assist the state in catalyzing the overall investments in the economy. These 50-year interest-free loans are over and above the normal borrowings allowed to the states are over and above the normal borrowings to the states. This allocation will be used for PM Gati Shakti related and other productive capital investments of the states. It will also include components for supplemental funding for priority segments of PM Gram Sadak Yojana, including support for the state's share digitization of the economy, including digital payments and completion of OFC network, and reforms related to building bylaws, town planning schemes, transit-oriented development, and transferable development rights. In 22-23, in accordance with the recommendations of the 15th Finance Commission, the states will be allowed a fiscal deficit of 4% of the GSDP, of which 0.5% will be tied to power sector reforms, for which the conditions have already been communicated in 21-22. Fiscal management. As against the total expenditure of 34.83 lakh crores of rupees projected in the BE 21-22, the revised estimate is 37.70 lakh crores. The revised estimate of capital expenditure is 6.3 lakh crores of rupees. 
This includes an amount of 51,971 crores towards settlement of outstanding guaranteed liabilities of Air India and its other sundry commitments. Coming to the budget estimates, Honorable Speaker, sir, the total expenditure in 22-23 is estimated at 39.45 lakh crores, while the total receipts, other than borrowings, are estimated at 22.84 lakh crores of rupees. The revised fiscal deficit, Honorable Speaker, in the current year is estimated 6.9% of the GDP as against 6.8% projected in the budget estimates. The fiscal deficit is in 22-23 is estimated at 6.4% of the GDP, which is consistent with the broad path of the fiscal consolidation announced by me last year to reach a fiscal deficit level below 4.5% by 25-26. While setting the fiscal deficit level in 22-23, I am conscious of the need to nurture growth through public investment to become stronger and sustainable. I will now move to part B of my speech. Direct tax. Honorable Speaker, sir, I take this opportunity to thank all the taxpayers of our country who have contributed immensely and strengthened the hands of the government in helping their fellow citizens in this hour of need. So I have uh, brought in a little verse from the Mahabharata. I won't spend more time reading because I would like the speech to get the enough time. However, the substance of it is the king must make arrangements for yoga kshema, which is the welfare of the populace, by way of abandoning any laxity and by governing the state in line with dharma, along with collecting taxes which, in, which are in consonance with dharma. This is Mahabharata Shanti Parva Adhyaya, Sloka 11 from 72. Drawing wisdom from our ancient texts, we continue on the path to progress. The proposals in this budget, while continuing with our declared policy of stable and predictable tax regime, intend to bring more reforms that will take ahead our vision to establish a trustworthy tax regime. This will further simplify the tax system, promote voluntary compliance by taxpayers, and reduce litigation. Introducing new updated return. India is growing at an accelerated pace and people are undertaking multiple financial transactions. The Income Tax Department has established a robust framework of reporting of taxpayers' transactions. In this context, some taxpayers may realize that they have committed omissions or mistakes in correctly estimating their income for tax payment. 